This is the Excellent Sports Adventure. Well, that was some road trip for the Maple Leafs, wasn't it? Really fine when you consider that they were missing their best defender. Wrapping up the trip in Colorado, rallying from two down, William Nylander to Mitch Marner, over to Todd Bertuzzi on his 29th birthday, a power play goal. Marner with some sweet moves in the Avalanche zone. Marner turns, fires, scores! Another man advantage, Nylander, great setup for Bertuzzi, who gets a hat trick on his birthday, no less. First leaf to do that. Buzz bring up their seventh straight win, longest streak in 20 years. Yeah, even before tonight, you know, I was feeling good. Um, you know, I thought I was making good plays and, um, you know, just playing decent hockey and, um, you know, tonight felt good. What's the biggest reason the team's on such a roll right now? I think everyone's just buying in. Um, you know, we're at, a, we're at a point in the season where, um, you know, we got to kind of turn things on and, you know, have a winning mentality and, um, you know, take no games off and try and be as consistent as possible. Well, another milestone for Austin Matthews at home in Arizona. Matthews takes the return feed from Timothy Lilligren, blistering drive. That's goal number 50. Fastest American player to do it. He added another. Nylander out of the penalty box. Breakaway. What a shot that was. Willie also had two. Lee's take it 5-3. They go 5-0 and without Morgan Riley. The Battle of Alberta resumes. Oh, what a battle it was. Flames and others really battling air. Flames. Hot early on. Connor Zuri to Martin Pospisil, who sniffs it past Stuart Skinner. Then a Calgary PP. Noah Hannafin is stopped. Big rebound for Rasmus Anderson. Over to Hannafin. His second of the night. Flames whack the oil six to three. Wow. PWHL, New York and Toronto. They go to a shootout. It's Natalie Spooner moves in. Slick deep to the backhand. Emma Woods looking to knot things up. Kristen Campbell says, nope. The glove, Toronto skates to another victory, 2-1 over New York. Raptors in Atlanta, Kelly Olenek spots Grady Dick cutting to the hoop. Dick with 18 points. Hawks coach Quinn Snyder didn't like a call. He runs down the ref. He got tossed out of the game on transition. Emmanuel quickly stops and pops a long three of his 24. Sweet. Olenek starting to find his way with the Dinos. Hard to the hole. Raps handle the Hawks, 123-121. Here's IQ, who had 24. I think just mindset to be aggressive and really just look for opportunities to score. I think it's helped me out a lot, and teams are starting to bliss me when I have that mindset, and then I'm able to hit Yach, Scotty, the shooters. Um, but just really the mindset to be aggressive and to attack and to have fun. So The Grapefruit League season is underway. This is Alejandro Kirk with the first Blue Jays homer of 2024. Unfortunately, Jays got whacked by the Yankees 12-6. to Vancouver Warriors at Toronto Rock. Chris Corbill takes a bump, moves in front, but tucks it home. Kyle Killen with a long-range laser beats Nick Rose. The Warriors kept it close early on, but here come the Rock. Mark Matthews over to Tom Schreiber, celebrating his 32nd birthday with two goals and four assists. The Rock roll 9-5. They're 8-2. and two. Vancouver Thunderbirds at Saskatchewan. Clark Pedersen had a heck of a game. Moves in and buries his first of three. He also had five assists. Austin Shanks is stopped, but Ryan Benesh cleans up. He had four. T-Birds pound the rush 19-6. They improved to 7-4. and four. The John Herdman area is officially underway. Toronto FC has wrapped up their two-legged training camp in Palm Beach and Santa Barbara. They got ready to take on New England next week. The home opener is March 9th against CFC Cincinnati. The Mexican Open at Vedanta Golf Course in Nuevo Vallarta. A terrific event. The course was in great shape. An enjoyable experience was had by all. Mac Hughes had a couple of top holes and bowed out early. Ben Silverman was top Canadian at 13th, 11 under par. Stuart Anderson tied for 24th. Rookie Jake Knapp finished 19 under for his first PGA Tour win. Yes, it's nap time. Time now for our shot of the week. It's Tyler P. with a great chip at El Tigre. Four! shot. He's going to tap in birdie. That was a chip for eagle. 
Tap and birdie for you, Consuelita. Got it, four. The shot of the week is brought to you by Sleepy Hollow Country Club. 60 years of tradition, providing a challenging and enjoyable golf experience just minutes from Toronto.